Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, my Patreon, where for $3 a month you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. You will also gain access to all of the previous month's videos as well. I also have an OnlyFans page, so if you think that might be something you're interested in, you can use the link down below to sign up for that. Also down below you'll find my Instagram and Wizio page information. So my Wizio is where I make all of my custom content, so pretty much those are all the links listed down below. And lastly, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But now let's get into today's video. Um, excuse me? Is the library open during lunch? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh no. No, that's, no, I was just gonna do some, some homework. I have a, I have a paper coming up, so I was thinking I would do that. Um, Yeah, yeah, that's all. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I ate quickly so I could come to the library during lunch. Thank you. I can sit wherever I want. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know, it looks like I'm the only student, I guess, using their lunch break to do homework, but that's okay. You must like this hour, not have a bunch of students in here bothering you, asking you where different books are. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah. Thank you. I'll just go, I guess I'll just sit wherever I want. Hmm. sitting there. You can sit there. Okay. I mean, literally every computer in here is free. Isabella, what's yours? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I don't. I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention last time we had homeroom. What? Why are you talking to me? Because... I'm the new girl, and pretty much no one since I've even come to this school has bothered to know I exist. So I'm just a little confused why, out of the blue, all of a sudden you're trying to talk to me. Okay. I've just picked up on the fact that this school is really clicky, and since I don't have a click, I am pretty much non-existent. I cease to exist when I walk through the doors to enter school every day. And then I become a human again once I finally leave. And I really don't care, but that seems to be how things work here. So thank you to my parents for having me transfer schools. What does it matter? It was out of state, you wouldn't know it. Why did I leave? Well, because, because of a job opportunity for one of my parents. 
They wanted to relocate, couldn't pass up the opportunity, said I was going to college soon anyway, so might as well just get a head start on starting somewhere new. I was actually pretty popular at my last school. It's funny how that can change so quickly. I'm like contagious, you know, since I don't have a group. So if you keep talking to me, I'm pretty sure the way things work in high school, you are soon not going to have any friends either. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, at least at this school. You know, the first week I tried reaching out to people, talking to people, being open and bubbly and outgoing, and it didn't really get me anywhere, so then I gave up on that, decided I don't need friends at school, I'll just go to school to learn, and then go home and FaceTime my friends from home, the people that I actually grew up with and who care about me and who want to talk to me, and we only have a couple months left of high school anyway, so... What does it matter if I am friendless for two, three more months? I can survive. Well, good for you for not caring what other people think. I can't say the same for a lot of your classmates. I would say our classmates, but since they don't even know I'm their classmate, I'm not going to call them my classmates either. Didn't you come to the library to get work done? So then why did you come to the library? During lunch? when everyone is supposed to be talking to their friends and socializing, figuring out what they're wearing to prom, complaining about how bad the cafeteria food sucks. What are you doing here? You saw I was alone and felt bad. You don't have to feel bad, I really don't care. Okay, if you say so. So you didn't just come in here because you felt bad for me? Because that's what you just said a second ago. Smooth, smooth. Okay. You want to see a picture of my high school? This was it. Yeah, it was nice. I miss it. This is me last year with my friends at prom. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, they invited me to come to prom at my old school, so I think I'm going to do that instead of going to prom here. I just feel like what's the point, you know? go to prom here, but it just feels like I don't have anyone to go with. I'm not friends with anyone. I don't have any like memories here that I want to really reminisce about. I'd rather just go to prom at my other school with my other friends and just forget 
that I even ever attended this place. I mean, you've been here all the four years. You must be excited for prom. I bet. It's nothing to feel sorry for me about. I have friends. I have another school. It's not like I don't have any friends. It's just I don't have friends at this school, you know? So it's fine. I'm really not upset about it. I'm excited to go to prom at my other school. Who are you bringing? school. I don't know. I wasn't going to bring anyone. I was just going to go to have fun, see everyone. I wasn't really thinking about going with someone per se. Just more going in general is what I'm excited about. I mean, it's okay. I'm not being standoffish, I just, you know, I'm honestly not used to talking to people during the day. I kind of just keep to myself, so maybe that's why you think I'm being weird. I just don't really know what to say to you. I'm sorry, was I being rude on my phone? Here, now you have my full attention, which isn't that hard to get since typically no one is begging for my attention, except for the librarian, but you know, we're on a first name basis, I'm in here practically every day. I come up with a different excuse as to why during my lunch break I'm in the library, she pretends she believes my excuse every day tries to push me to go back to the cafeteria to, well, apparently she forgets what high school was like. It's okay. It's only four years, and then after that, we all go our separate ways. High school doesn't even exist anymore, and very quickly you forget what it was even like. But like I said, I have my other school, my other friends, and I'm just looking forward to, honestly, I wish I could go there for graduation ceremony and stuff. Mm, I have her for history and him for science. Because he, he switches, right, back and forth. Mm, I'm taking French, not Spanish. Well, those were my only options. French, Spanish, or Mandarin. Yeah, I figured I'd try French. I've been taking Spanish for a lot of years now, so I wanted to try something else, try a different language. It's really tricky because I'm just not used to learning anything aside from Spanish. My other school only offered Spanish. Anyway. Um, why are you so interested in everything I'm saying? I'm like not saying anything interesting. If I were you, I'd be falling asleep. I already told you I'm not going to prom with anyone. You know, they're different days. Our prom is the Friday before my old school's prom. Yeah, I could go to both, but I don't want to. <laughs> Why would I go to this prom? Why would you want me to be your date to prom? You don't even know me. I 
I don't know. I don't... I, I literally don't even know you. Okay, yeah, sure. I've seen you in the hallway a few times, at pep rallies a few times, but like... It doesn't mean I know you. It means I've seen you. And that's true. <sighs> Do you really want to go with the girl that has no friends at the school? Okay, whatever you say. Did you already buy your tie? That means I need two prom dresses though now. And that's... I don't want to rewear the same one. Mm -mm, that, that won't work. Fine. Fine, you've taken such an interest. Sure. I will go to prom with you, but on one condition. You have to come to my prom with me. Well, it's true. It is a long drive to my old school, so I guess our school's prom will be the test run, and then if we have a horrible time, you don't have to come with me. <laughs> I'm not too afraid of that either. Okay, yeah. I really, I really do have a report that I have to do for my class next period. I'm almost done, but still, I came in here because there's really no one for me to sit with at lunch, but also because I did have an assignment to do. So, um, why don't you put your number in my phone and we can keep talking about this later. Okay? Yeah. Well, the dress that I'm wearing to my other school is silver. That would work. Send me a picture of it. I haven't picked out my dress. Well, obviously, I don't have another dress. Aside from... That's true. I could do that. Okay. So maybe I don't need another dress. Aren't your friends going to be so confused? Okay. Well, here. Okay. You put a heart next to your name? Really? <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. I promise. I promise. I'm not just saying yes to get you to leave me alone. I'm, I'm going to go to prom with you. <laughs> but you have to go with me. Remember that. Okay, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Bye.